Perhaps my favorite NFL content on Twitter are Baldi's breakdowns, and it's always great to visit with a man responsible, NFL Network analyst Brian Baldinger. Baldy, let's talk about Joe Mixon. He is on pace for a 1,000-yard season. His yards per carry is above his career average. How does Joe look to you in year seven? He looks good. Joe's good. They popped up, you know, a bunch of runs early in that game. And like I said, it's against a really good defensive front. Uh, that's a good group. Uh, you saw them in the playoffs a couple of years ago. Uh, you know, they're, they're about as talented as anybody. They're healthy right now. But, you know, he popped some runs in there. And um, he looks good. Like, he's he's excellent. Let's pick up. He's a tough guy. He plays really hard. Uh, you know, you could throw the ball to Joe. Um, there's really, he's, he's an every down back. You know, I think he's enjoying a good season. The other defensive player that you shined the spotlight on recently was Trey Hendrickson, who also got a contract extension in the offseason. What makes him one of the better pass rushers in the league? Well, I think he plays with great effort. I think he has, you know, an array of moves to beat elite tackles in his business. Uh, you know, so he can win one on ones. Um, you don't want to have to, you know, run a lot of twist stunts or blitzes in order to get pressure on the quarterback. You know, I think they've got a lot of depth on that defense line, just watching what Miles Murphy did last week. And so I think, you know, they've got some movable parts up front. But, I mean, Trey is an elite player just because he can beat elite tackles in his business. In the Lou Anarumo era, the Bengals' run defense has typically been good. I believe seventh in the NFL last year. And stopping the run has been a bit of a problem through the first four games. Is that a big concern, or do you expect Lou to be able to fix it? I mean, there's things you can always do to fix one. You go to a five-man defense front, you can play the linebackers tighter. There's a lot of things you can do. You might give up other things in order to do that. But you'd like to. I mean, when you have DJ Reader and BJ, and you got the horses that you have. You'd love to be able to, you know, stop the run with just seven. Every team would love to be able to do that. And ideally, that's what Lou would like to do. The Bengals head to Arizona on Sunday. The Cardinals are one and three. What are a couple of keys for the Bengals to go to Arizona and come back with a badly needed win? If you look at the roster, Dan, I'd be hard pressed for any analysts to tell me who their starters are in offense and defense. I mean, it's just that kind of a roster. But they play very hard. You can't take them lightly. San Francisco was up 21-3, looked like they were controlling the game. Next thing you know, they're in a dogfight, it's 21-16. So Joshua Dobbs, he's very mobile. He's made a lot of big runs, like big runs, 20, 30, 40-yard runs. He's very smart, and he takes care of the football. And then defensively, they just play hard. They're, they're young in some spots, but they blitz. They come at you from everywhere. So I, I think they've played above their talent level to this point because they've been in every single game so far. Always appreciate your time. Keep up the great work, Baldy. Dan, my pleasure. Anytime. Enjoy your trip.